This is Fresno's Past, a look at the pop culture environment of the city of Fresno from 1950 to 1990. And here is your host, Dale Mel. This is Dale Mel. This is program number two about a very special rock group. Before I present my thoughts of the past, we have a sponsor, and you too can be a sponsor of Fresno's Past. Our sponsor is Haro Entertainment of Fresno. They are the high-quality, reasonably-priced company for your DJ music needs for your company party, wedding, school music function, and more. They have expert DJs, and they also can meet your needs on video, a photo booth, and uplighting to help make that rented room even more special for weddings or company parties. Look them up on the internet under Haro Entertainment. First, we're going to do a little rock trivia before we talk about that rock group from the mid to late 60s. Let's talk about Sea of Tunes Music Publishing Company, which was founded by Murray Wilson, the father of three of the Beach Boys, Brian Dennis and Carl Wilson, which was started in 1962. Murray helped his sons and his nephew, Mike Love, to publish and promote the original songs written primarily by Brian and Mike. Again, that happened in 62. When Brian fired Murray as their manager in 64, following the heated discussions while they recorded I Get Around, Murray continued to serve as the band's publisher until he sold Sea of Tunes to the publishing arm of A&M Records in 1970 for $700,000. Murray believed the Beach Boys' popularity had already peaked, and Murray believed the Beach Boys were going to fade out of the public eye very shortly. That theory backfired, and the Beach Boys were very upset about what happened. But the point I'm trying to make, which is not written here, is another group suffered because they were under the arm of Sea of Tunes, and they were the Sun Rays with most of their songs written by lead singer Rick Henn. I Live for the Sun, Andrea, <laughs> and all the songs that the Sun Rays did also suffered along with the Beach Boys. Now let's get into Fresno's past, shall we? Now, as you think back, what were the big rock groups of the late 60s, early 70s? Well, you'd probably be thinking Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, The Who, but they were British groups. Let's talk about American groups. Well, the big groups were The Beach Boys, Aerosmith, Kiss, but also this group, The Doors. They appeared in Fresno two times, banned from the city of Fresno the first time, then they played in the county of Fresno. Well, let's talk about it because the website for the concerts of the doors they get it wrong in july 1965 the doors were formed with james douglas morrison on the vocals ray manzarek on piano robbie krieger on guitar and john densmore on percussion with other members that were early in the group they appeared frequently at the whiskey a go-go in hollywood and in 1966 signed a record deal with Electra records the group recorded their first album in August of 66, and the album was released on January 4th, 1967. The Doors made their first of two concerts in Fresno, the first being Wednesday, April 5th, 1967. A week prior to the concert, the promoters released a television ad telling Fresno that the Doors were coming to town. The concert took place at the Celland Arena, sold well, but Jim being Jim, displayed a lewd act on the stage, and was banned forever from appearing in the city of Fresno. The Top 40 edited hit Light My Fire reached number 21 of the Top 100 Hits of the Year on Kino for the year 1967. On Monday, September 25, 1967, the Strange Days album by The Doors was released and reached the top 10 on various record magazines. It was not the big seller, though, that the first album was. Now we enter 1968, and the Doors are clearly banned from downtown Fresno. So a concert is planned in Fresno County, outside the city limits, and it's just right outside the city limits. 
at the Fresno District Fairgrounds at the Paul Paul Theater. China, we can only lose, and our love become a funeral pyre. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. It's now June 1968, and Elektra Records releases the 45 smash hit, Hello, I Love You. Hello, I love you, won't you tell me your name? Hello, I love you, let me jump in your game. Hello, I love you, won't you tell me your name? Hello, I love you, let me jump in your game. The Doors appeared at the Fresno District Fairgrounds at the Paul Paul Theater on Friday, June 7, 1968. I live seven houses from the Fresno Fairgrounds on Liberty Avenue near the front gates. I watch the hippies walk down the alleyway and from the park.